Time to kick back, relax, and enjoy a Ken Marchant video. This is day three of my walk from Onga to St. Peter's Chapel in Bradwell on Sea. Uh, right now I'm in Munden, which is near Malden in Essex. And there's the St. Peter's Way marker to show I'm on the right route. St. Mary's Church, Munden. I've been informed that this church dates from the 13th century. They say these trees were killed by salt brought up from the river by the locals a thousand years ago. The Essex landscape is getting flatter and flatter. I'm now in the village of Maylandsea. This is a very quiet, lonely place. Um, no other human in sight. Lots of wild birds. Lapwings, oyster catchers, sandpipers. And just coming into the village of Steeple. And again, the pub is closed. Found one that's open, finally. Cheers. Now back across open countryside. It was getting hot out there in the field, so these nice cool woods are just a job. Honeybee. I have no idea what this is growing in these fields. And into Tillingham. Now along a nice quiet country lane. Well, I finally arrived at the Chapel of St. Peter, Bradwell-on-Sea. The chapel was built in AD 653 by a missionary named Sed. He built it using bricks from the ruined Roman fort which was situated nearby. Time to head into Bradwell village now. Try and find a pub for lunch and then a bus back to Southminster station. Ken Marjantok.